on this day, we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord. We celebrate recognition and the beginning of his public ministry. On this day, we celebrate our recognition, not only of faith and baptism, but our mission into the world to live our faith. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we have been given this gift of faith and baptism. We now acknowledge our lack of living that faith are times that we have missed opportunities to share that faith. Lord Jesus, you follow the will of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you promise us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you share with us the unconditional love of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good. Almighty ever living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declaring him your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be pleasing to you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, Come to the water. All you who have no money, come. Receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, 
your wages for what fails to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew you with the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of the nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. As high as in the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as the heavens rain down and the snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end to which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You shall draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And he has been my savior. With joy, you will draw water from the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is the name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Our second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know 
that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world. But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood. Jesus Christ. Not by water alone. But by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. And the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. John saw Jesus approaching him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the throngs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And coming out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. A voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We
We are a community of baptism. We celebrate that doorway and that entrance into all things that give us sacramental grace, that spiritual energy. And today we celebrate this transition of Jesus beginning his public ministry. He too goes to be baptized. The Spirit descends. The voice is heard. We celebrate the power of the Trinity. We as a baptizing community, baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We realize that it is the Trinity working together that transforms a world and allows it to see what God's love looks like and to celebrate it in the way we live. On this day, we come to the conclusion of the Christmas season, and we transition into a time of growth. It is a time to reflect on the great mystery of the nativity, of how Jesus came into the world. And we are to break that mystery open. Who are we that the Lord would come to us? And Jesus will continue to respond. You are the ones called by God, celebrating this gift that we could never earn, a gift that could not be given back. We come to realize that on this day, we are called to move forward to continue reflection on Jesus as he begins his public ministry. In a time of growth, we are to also grow in this mystery, a mystery of forgiveness, a mystery of mercy. We're to learn more about the Father and how Jesus reveals the Father. We are to realize that Jesus also speaks of an advocate, a promise of the Holy Spirit. We are the recipients of that promise. And we are to walk with him in this time of growth, celebrating all that has taken place. We are to give witness to that. So as we look back over the celebration of this Christmas season, it's important for us to, to celebrate the witnessing that took place the overcoming of obstacles to come and celebrate. Whether it was cars in the parking lot that were decorated with creativity on dashboards and with signs and lights. Whether it was the outreach to the poor and the hungry and the giving tree which changed its direction to, to give gift cards but still recognizing the need to share blessings and goodness. Whether it was the incredible song of the Gloria and the angels announcing. Whatever drew us into this mystery, obstacles were overcome and joy was proclaimed. Not only in God's house, but in the world. Today, we're called to live that mission of baptism. To bring, as Jesus did, into the world good news. Good news of hope. Good news of forgiveness. Of compassion and mercy. And we don't do it alone. Jesus, on the day of his baptism, heard the Father acknowledging that not only is he beloved, but the Father is well pleased so he could walk with confidence. The Holy Spirit descended upon him. He never walked alone. He, he celebrated that trinity of God's love. And we don't walk alone either. We come now into this world having come to the conclusion of this Christmas season. Celebrating a light to the nations. Celebrating 
what God's love looks like. And knowing that we move into the world not alone, but with the sacramental grace, the real presence of Jesus found in the Eucharist, the promise of the Holy Spirit, and the movement of God's love in our hearts. What a great gift. Today we stand witnesses together, realizing that nothing held us back. God came into the world and we received him and moved past the restrictions of a pandemic into the world. Because God's love is greater than anything in its way. And we prove that to one another because our faith was great and our actions strong. So now we move forth to a time of growth, to a time of renewal, knowing that we do not walk into this world alone, but with the power of the Father, the confidence of the Father, the gift of Jesus walking on the face of the earth, and the everlasting promise of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We are a baptizing community, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, May we live this public mission in the world and bring it hope and joy. As a people of faith, we now celebrate what was given to us at baptism as a gift. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Celebrating our baptism, celebrating the recognition of our faith and how we are called to live it, we now offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church that it lead all believers to recognize their common baptism as a family in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may its leaders embrace open and honest communication in solving international problems, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may it heal its divisions and trust in our common good as one nation under God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who struggle both in their physical and spiritual journeys. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those involved in our baptismal ministry, that they may be open and welcoming to families celebrating the gift of new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we, who renew the promise of our own baptisms this day, Celebrate the goodness that God has given to us with the gift of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those who care for them, for first responders, that they may be strengthened in their journey to give witness to their faith. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those intentions that we place on the offer altar in this book and also those that we offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, with water and the Spirit, you have made us your people and claimed us with your love. Strengthen us on this journey that we may give profound witness to this gift. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of the faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit's descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring good news to the poor. And so with powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loved the human race, and who always walks with us on this journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. Breaking the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks... handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you now this bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which you show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. And by our partaking of this mystery, almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit, grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in a bond of communion together with Francis, our Pope, with Ronald, our Bishop, with all other bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing in their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place with you and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Anne, the Mother of Mary, and with all the saints, that we may praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As a baptizing community and at the Savior's command, we now pray with divine teaching this prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us take a moment to share a sign of that peace with others. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day, we are commissioned through baptism to live our faith. May we trust that we are never abandoned and never do it alone, for we have been baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. And may we go forth to live that faith vibrantly. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I baptize you in the name of the Father. I baptize you in the name of the Son. I baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Go out and spread good news. I send you out on a mission of send you out on a mission of love. I send you out on a mission of love and know that I am with you always until the end of the world. I send you out